Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Tuesday, July 7th, 2015. All right. Uh, in the announcements yesterday, the ISM non-manufacturing index came in spot on, exactly where they anticipated it would be, so there was no surprise there. I think kind of the surprise yesterday was the way the market sort of recovered from what it looked like it was going to be at the open. And I took a peek at this TD Ameritrade uh, Investor Momentum Index, and uh, according to them, you know, like more people are willing to take on more risk is what um, this really measures. So for today, we have international trade and the job opening and labor something uh, report that's uh, coming out at 10 o'clock. And like I said, the rest of the week is pretty light for announcements. All right, let's uh, take a look across the pond and see what's going on. Um, mostly bearish in Asia. Um, I thought I heard something about China's market crashing. I don't know if that's this one, Hang Seng, or... Shanghai. I'm not sure. I don't really know which one it is. Uh, and and oil took a big dig, dig uh, uh, took a big digger. Uh, Europe were kind of mixed, most but a little slightly to the bearish side. All right, what's going on here? Well, looking a little bit bullish for our open don't know how much that counts. Uh, gold is at 1166 so um, I have this pending order in here to buy this back for three cents and we can see it's back. It's down to three cents so hopefully it triggers today so that I can uh, roll that over to I think I'm going to do a September 118. There's only like about 70 some cents in it but right now I'll pretty much take anything I can get on this highly depressed gold here. Oil's at 53.31. Took a big digger over the last, over the weekend and uh, yesterday, but a uh, little bit of a bounce up today. And the dollar's at 96.98. A big jump on the dollar. The euro's at 109. $1.09.8 US. All right. Uh, yesterday, I, well, let's uh, let's take a look at the big chart before we go over yesterday. I just wanted to note up here also we're on 1876.11. I don't know when that happened. I would imagine over the weekend where we got this. It was uh, 1876.10, so now it's 1876.11. Yesterday I closed this July uh, 4 up here. Uh, the uh, bear call and I have this July 2 down here that I think I will be closing today we'll take a look at that and then I uh, didn't do anything yesterday but you know I was thinking well what should I do you know bull put bear call you know if I can't decide exactly what to do I'll just put on the whole iron condor and we'll take a peek in a minute to see where that would be at and then I wanted to let you know that it jumped in on this Baidu calendar here. And we'll take a look at that when we get over to our scan. So if we're going to do, since SPX is our primary vehicle, we'll take a look at that one first. Uh, if we were to do an iron, well, let's see. I want to take a look at this um, July 2 We'll put here. I'm turn this all off and then just check these boxes. We can see that out of a potential sixty dollars, we're at forty-four ten. That's calculated. Um, we could say I just highlight that and then press Control and click on this one and say create closing order. It's at a nickel and that's our target. 
So we'll probably be closing that today. I won't take profits on that one. So looking at the spreadsheet here, uh, we closed this one yesterday and we collected $180 on it. And we opened this by to July. We paid $0.80 cents for it. I only did one. All right, so 31 days out is we're into August now. Well, welcome to August. All right, can we find... Eh, we're going to have to open this up a little bit more. Let's make it 60. There we go. Now we're getting something here. So uh, we would be looking at... 1920 and what what does that bring us 1920 is going to bring us only 30 cents I might move up here to this 1930 let's do that and it's only 35 and I'm moving up ten dollars well now it's 40 cents yeah it's 40 cents I can live with and I would put a whole bunch of these on. You can see that uh, in each account I was I started out with two and now I'm up to three and now I'm probably going to move up to four in each account for a total of 12 lots or 12 spreads on each side of this. Uh, just because I'm gaining some confidence and easing into it. So that's probably what we'll do. So 1930 over here 1930 is right here that wouldn't be too bad I think I feel pretty good about that <laughs> and on the top side let's look here it's a little bit faster going this way uh, I think I might actually do something with a 12 delta and we get 85 cents there. And that's at 21.55. 21.55 is right about here. So, yeah. I think I could do, deal with that in August expiration. First weekend in August is here, 8.3. So 2155, that's what we said, right? Yep. Uh, we'll be right here, right at the edge of our channel. Looks like the channel is holding, at least for right now. So that's probably what I will be doing. So it actually gives me 55 and 70, uh, pretty widespread. 115 point spread on SPX so I think I'd be happy with that and uh, I think that's probably about it uh, we can just get right into the scan now and stop messing around and get on to some serious business well sort of serious anyway uh, what was surprising I think um, yesterday was how resilient the U.S. market is with China collapsing and Europe, specifically Greece, um, having difficulties, so we're like surrounded. But, you know, it's just still pumping money into it, so everybody's looked pretty happy. Apple had a very good day yesterday after gapping down at the open. Uh, okay, Amazon uh, holding steady. Amazon holding steady. We don't. We're not doing anything with Amazon now, are we? No, we are not. Uh, let's see here. What might we do with Amazon? Might do something like uh, maybe a. I don't know. A 
maybe uh, just a little bit of a calendar to maybe at the 430 level for I don't know when maybe at the 430 level is that going to cost very much money I don't know let's do something let's look at something say this expiration here is there and we don't need 60 here we can do we can do 28 like I think it was my normal number um, if there even is 28 what did I say uh, the four who oops sorry the 430 level right okay Looking at a put calendar at the 430 level. And that would buy a calendar. $1.73, that's pretty pricey. That would be $173. Uh, but we're already in the sweet spot here. And if we just wallow around in here for, let's see what it would look like say two weeks from today we'd end up with two hundred and forty one dollars according to these calculations never really quite ends up that way but that might be a good thing I might uh, might consider that so the risk is already defined on this at hundred and seventy three dollars uh, so yeah, I mean, why not? I think that that would be a good trade. 4.30 and this July 5. Uh, and this is regular July here. Let's, let's do a channel. Let's do a channel. Uh, what are we here? We're in a... We just rolled over on this moving average. Uh, it's really difficult to draw any sort of channel that's going to give me 430 on July 5, but we're not waiting for expiration. We're looking for something just two lousy weeks out, which we did our um, estimation here, and we're just looking to be at 430. And that's entirely possible that we're somewhere around there at that time. So I might be doing that. All right. Just trying to look to squeeze a little bit more here and there out of the market. And Baidu. Here's our calendar here. Chipotle. Not sure exactly what I would do with that. Might do a uh, calendar, might have possibilities of put calendar. Same date, like around July 5. Uh, but, ooh, we have earnings coming up. You know what? IV is going to be increasing. What's a 600 calendar look like? Oops. Um, 600 put calendar. A dollar. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't Chipotle normally kind of bump up a little bit around earnings? Normally. But it's been in a real big downtrend since the last earnings. Hmm. That looks interesting. I'll put that one down as a possible for today too. Maybe a little bit lower, maybe five ninety five. Uh Costco. We have our calendar out here. How's it doing? Eh, it's making a few bucks here and there. What's the monitor tab say about it? Costco. 
up $19. Price line's 160 I think I got an exit price line today. We'll take a look at it when we get down to it. Uh, but then we're just going to let that one uh, simmer a little bit on the back burner. Let's take a look at the Dow. Uh, the Dow not looking too hot. Peak at GLD. see yeah we have that order sitting out here so we will hopefully do our um, September short call let's take a look at Google Google has we're approaching earnings on Google um, here they kind of pulled back prior to earnings. Is there a possible play on Google? I don't think I would do anything. Well, I would do something prior. You have to like pick a calendar with the expiration of the short strike before earnings. So I don't. I, don't th I think I'm going to stay away from Google. Just don't have a feel for it. With those other two, like uh, Chipotle and Amazon, you know, kind of drifting downward. Uh, LinkedIn, I don't have a feel for that either. Take a look at how the NASDAQ is looking. Um, pretty much the same as the Dow. <laughs> Netflix, oh yeah, I'm supposed to take them out. Sorry. Let me take them out right now. I'll move down the price line here. And if I ever get a response from this system here, we can just come down here and say edit A plus and we're taking Netflix out. Okay, we no longer have Netflix. So price line, uh, here it is right here. Price line, our calendar. We get to get out a couple weeks early with a, a nice tidy little profit. Peek at the Russell. And then we can jump all the way down to Tesla and call it a day or a morning or a scan. We'll call it a scan. Uh, here's Russell. Nice big fat wide channel here. It's riding along the support line here. Um, we'll have to see if it can maintain it or not. And then last but not least is Tesla. which uh, we exited this and that was yesterday no it was actually last week on this can candle here and that was a good one 7-2 we get out of this one made a nice tidy little profit okay um, that is it for the daily scan July 7th 2000 and 15 we have um, we're going to do an SPX iron condor today we're going to look at July 5 calendars put calendars on Amazon and Chipotle at the 430 and 600 level uh, respectively and we will exit the Priceline calendar today all right you have a great day and happy trading